Ooh, that was stunning and awesome. Uh, a lot of ha. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, hello guys, Kumusta Kayo, I'm Jazik, I'm a singer and a vocal coach based in Warsaw, Poland, and today I will be reacting to something really special. I've got one request that really caught my attention. One singer was in, I'm a singer talent show in, in China singing Loving You. And I wanted to react to that performance, but this came up to me and I was kind of like, this is an amazing content and I want to hear Filipino singers uh, whistle head voice notes singing Loving You by one and only Mini Ripperton. And yeah, let's, let's just dive in. But before we do, please subscribe to my channel and if you want to support my work, go to my Ko-fi page and donate the money equivalent to a cup of coffee. You can do it just once, there is no monthly commitment to it and it really helps me grow. You can also support me on my social medias and just watch my reactions. I'm wondering who's going to be there because I think I know most of uh, the greatest Filipino singers. I mean, at least the popular ones because any singer in, in the Philippines is kind of dangerous and, um, and awesome. Three, two, one, go. F sharp five, uh, F sharp six. She's so playful when it comes to this melody, and she looks so gorgeous. And obviously, her whistle tones are, whoa! How light, easy, and beautiful, and the vibrato and connection. Lani. <laughs> I'm expecting super head voice, not really uh, whistle tones, but let's see. <laughs> Come on, Lani. <laughs> Beautiful. <gasps> oh God. <laughs> Bravo, I don't think it was a whistle. I think it was super head voice, but you know, her tone is kind of thick, so I don't know. This could be a whistle. Uh, so powerful, it kind of like, ah! Um, yeah, and obviously the fact that she was lying on the floor and kind of re you could tell that this song was rearranged and this is what I appreciate because obviously you can sing the original um, arrangement and kill it, but sometimes it's just good to put your own twist on things and she definitely did and even at the end going for some high notes. So Lani Misalucha, I love her, I love her voice, tone, talent and whatnot. And she's she's an awesome person as far as I, I know from you guys and from some of her interviews. Like you can tell that she's a good person. Okay, who's next? Clarice? Yes. Mm. Ooh, that was stunning and awesome. Uh, a lot of ha huh in the beginning. Sometimes it's really good to to do that if you want to re reach your whistle tones. Again, I'm not sure if that was not a falsetto, but um, for voices like hers, which is kind of like Lani Misalucha, a little bit heavier when it comes to her chest voice, so it means that her vocal cords must be a little bit thicker uh, and longer, probably. It could be, it could be a whistle as well, but it's not like it's, it's not the the type of whistle of Mariah Carey and and definitely Mini because their whistle tones are like super clean, super kind of thin, and they can be loud, but they're, they don't require them to have so much energy in them, you know? Uh, but the sound was beautiful and, you know, hitting... I think she's hit an F sharp five, uh, six, I'm not sure. Let me check, that was the same. Yeah, that was C sharp six, beautiful. 
And I love the vibrato. Mika. I don't know if I know her. Yes. Awesome. Another awesome version. Um, a lot of power. That whistle was, was really powerful. And again, coming from... Oh, Birdie. Okay, that's the one that I was going to react to the full performance. And when I was researching this, because you guys don't put your links in the comment sections, you, ju you, just, you just say the title. A lot of times. Not always, but mostly. This came up and I was kind of like, yeah, I've not reacted to a compilation in a long time. Okay, Birdie. Beautiful. Well. <laughs> oh god. So the, the top note was A6, and yeah, I, I, I'm not sure, I, I think that was a boy or, or a girl. Definitely in their puberty, uh, or just hitting puberty, or just before puberty, puberty oh, I'm sorry. Um, that was, the, the first note was really nice, and then this, the last note was kind of, kind of like a kettle. <laughs> and it was ended like, you know, immediately without any vibrato or or diminuendo, which is going from loud to soft, but this was definitely impressive. Janella. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this was probably not the best day for her, but she definitely knows how to do it. Uh, there was a little bit, a little bit of squeeze there, but I don't think it was something that she could have controlled that day but she's hit the note and she's brave and she should not ever back down from it because she definitely has it <laughs> kayla kayla So that was D6, so that was not the melody of... So that was just just D6, but it's not just D6, it's pretty high. And that was her falsetto, and that was beautiful as well. You can already tell that she's doing more soulful version of this. Very it, the la 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 las are powerful, and this song is kind of like la 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 la. la. But that's Katrina Katrina Velarde, and she could do it all. She could do it soft as well. But yeah, I'm um, again. She's doing her own thing with it, and this is what I appreciate. But let's hear the whistle. We know she can whistle. Okay. Okay, I got lost, but um, it, it seemed pretty easy for her. Okay, so that was another F, an F sharp six. Playful, beautiful, agility, dynamics. Katrina Velarde is awesome, and we all know it. I love Katrina Velarde. Jonah.
beautiful, beautiful mouth open, powerful, pitch perfect. That was a higher key, I've not even noticed. How come? That was an A freaking six. How come I have not heard the change of a key from one clip to another? Whatever. Wow. <laughs> I love the sound. Again, another version of this song. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta say, this was probably my favorite. <laughs> Love Morissette. I mean, this was a proper, proper whistle. No, um, I mean, like, you can, you can put an effort to it and I still love it. Um, uh, but technically speaking, her whistles are, like, Mariah Carey whistles. <laughs> She's so stunning and playful and I it makes me want to listen to the whole performance. But you know what? There was no lady in this compilation that didn't do a good job. And I'm not sure if that if there is anything else. There is something else. Okay, so this is just an ad. Newsy and me. Special mentions. Doobie doobie doo. <laughs> okay, so she she started in a different key, then continued in a different key. But but she's hit a knee six, which is pretty high. <laughs> no. Well, musically speaking, two different keys, it means that she 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 she's not really a musician or or a or a singer. But yeah, that was high. <laughs> That was C sharp six, and that was fun. <laughs> oh, that, that that was funny, but there's nothing to check there, really. <laughs> Thank you for making this compilation. You've got my subscription, Music and Me. Thank you so much. This was awesome. Bravo to all of the ladies. At the end of this reaction, I just want to show you one of my students, Missy, who's now become a voice teacher. She's been training with me for six years, I think. Yeah, about six years as a singer. And for past three years, I was training her to become a vocal teacher. And now I'm hiring her. And now I'm hiring her in my vocal studio, my vocal school in Warsaw called Voice Impact Studio. And that was years ago. And that's when we discovered that she can actually whistle. And now she can control it so well. But this is one of the clips that we did in 2019. Listen to her whistles. I'm so proud of her. I love her. I just love her voice, I just love her talent, I trust her, I don't trust many people uh, when it comes to teaching how to sing. Uh, I'm not talking about the biggest vocal coaches that are out there, but there are a lot of vocal coaches that they just do one exercise for everyone and expecting results and they don't know how to diagnose voices and how to get into people's head and how to um, motivate them the right way. And that there, there, there are some vocal coaches that have done a lot of damage to singers so knowing that Misi is so dedicated to what she's doing and I know her path from the beginning I mean like she's since before coming to me uh, when she was a kid but once you discover that passion and you have someone to guide you you can see their wings kind of spread and 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 now she flies and I get to watch her journey and be a part of it and 
Missy's actually editing my reactions. So Missy, if you're watching this, mwah, to you, I love you. You're awesome. And yeah, I cannot wait to see what happens next for you. But I know something for sure, I'm gonna be there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to tell me which whistle was your favorite. Subscribe to my channel for more and give me more requests. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye. Cause you cannot turn my time, so live your life.